on gang, Math and Math's Red Show here. Thank you for clicking on that button. Today we are in Wabasha, Minnesota at their, uh, I think it's called Riverboat Days and uh, big festival in town t um, today. And uh, they've got a classic car show today. So they're shutting down a big old street right in downtown Wabasha and gonna pack it full of classic cars, guys. And uh, it's a good show. <laughs> when I got here at like eight in the morning, uh, there was just a few cars here. And I was like, oh, I don't know how many are gonna show up, but then, a ton of cars showed up so it's been a great show and i've seen a lot of cool cars that i usually don't see at this show i love coming to small town shows it's great and uh something cool i saw at this episode was three not one not two not three oh not one not two but three ford starliners which is crazy because i hardly ever see those and i saw three of them today so anyways guys neither here nor there well i guess it is kind of here but uh, let's get in there and let's see these cars, guys. So uh, I'm just gabbing away. I'm going to shut up now and let you see some cars, guys. <laughs> I'm excited for you to see this episode. Let's get in there. Let's check out these cars, guys. Thanks for clicking on that button. Let's do this. All right. Well, here we are. Wabasha, Minnesota. I am here well before the car show begins. car show doesn't even begin until 10 o'clock. It's just past 8 o'clock right now. <laughs> actually, it's closer to 9, actually. So... A lot of the cars haven't even gotten here yet, but they're going to start showing up. So, we'll get going here. A couple Mustangs here, a new one and an older one. Nice little Plymouth Roadrunner here. Yeah, got some nice stuff here already. Nice Mustangs, oh, a nice Plymouth right there. Look at that, that's nice. Come back, look at that, nice Galaxy here. Ooh. Nice, look at this. Ooh, this is gonna be a good show. Nice Starliner, Willys. Nice 55 here. An Impala. A couple of Impalas, looks like. 58 here. Yeah. All right. Some nice Rambler here. Some uh, good cars here already. First little walkthrough. We'll give it a little bit of time here, let all these guys get a chance to. Spit shine the cars up. <laughs> they're all they're all uh, dusting them off and wiping them down like you do, getting them ready for the show today. Getting her tucked in back there. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Listen to that all day. Yeah, sorry, I just sneezed.
Due to Baker Hawk here, this is awesome. Yeah, if you want, yeah, hang on a second. Is that road torn up up there? This is a beautiful morning for our car show. Nice and cool, a little bit of cloud cover. It's been surface of the sun level heat in Minnesota last week, so this is a good respite from that. Look at this showing up, it's all Ford. I think his cars are showing up still. I'm just gonna go start looking at uh, some of the cars that are here. This is a 69 Plymouth Roadrunner 383 Tudor Coupe. Triumph TR4. Yeah. Okay. That's enough far enough for her. Yeah. yeah that's sweet. 
back. Look at this 31 Ford here. It's got a, a Buick engine in it. 31 Ford pickup. Hot rod. This is this thing is awesome looking. Oh yeah. Probably not carrying a whole lot of stuff in the flatbed back here. <laughs> That's awesome. When the wings were outside, you were over there. Yeah, sorry. Like 20 something degrees. Yeah. I love when car shows happen in these older river towns. Just good environments for a car show. You get the old buildings mixed in with the old cars and it's just, <laughs> it's like stepping back in time almost. up here. Love it. Best time to be at a car show before it even begins. <laughs> Sneak over here. Look at this old Ford coupe here. 
love this thing. Take a look at this old Plymouth here. It's a uh, 49 Plymouth. Awesome. I don't know. Something about looking at these old Plymouths, especially like a two-door one like this two-door 49 two-door Plymouth. It's just I don't think I've ever seen one of these. I don't think they're super rare, but I mean nowadays they probably are. But it's just cool to see. Here's a good-looking 64 Ford Galaxy 500 XL. dog <laughs> back to the Starliner here can't tell you how many times I've been filming cars and I've had random dogs come up to me <laughs> dogs they just seem to take a liking to me they always have this is cool to see though this Starliner I don't think I've seen maybe one other of these ever of this that uh, Ford made Starliners and I think they only made them in 60 and 61 for two years. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Ooh, something's coming down the road here. We'll come back to the Starliner here in just a sec.
<laughs> That'll work. Chieftain. All right, where were we? <laughs> Little sidetrack there, that charger showed up. It's like the atmosphere changed. Let's go back to the Starliner over here. I think I was about done filming her. All right, here it is again. There's a uh, 1954 Willys Aero Lark two door. Fifty five Bel Air. Hello. I want everybody to know that I planned that shot. Exactly how it happened. Good looking at Paula right next to it. This is a uh, 67, by the way. 427 turbo jet. Ciao. This is a uh, 58 Chevy Biscayne. Got the side pipes on it. Everything. The uh, main differences between the Biscayne and the Impala in '58. I've looked at them both. I, I've noticed a few things here and there, but kind of wondering. I know the Impala, I think, was the 
higher model, if you will. More expensive model, I think, if I'm not wrong. So it's probably just had something to do with the engines that were available and uh, I don't know. If you know, feel free to leave some info below, I'm sure. I would like to know, and I'm sure some of my viewers enjoy that kind of thing as well. Well, he's got some stuff written here. Yeah. Papa. That's cool, man. <laughs> this is this is pretty cool. I was looking forward to getting back to this one here. 63 AMC Rambler. You don't see too many of these. This is pretty cool. Look at the uh, the way they did the grill in the front with the headlights. Almost looks like it's getting ready to bite somebody. <laughs> like a mouth. Chomp, chomp. Some good looking cars coming to the show here. Yeah, a couple of rides on the other side of the bridge. You gotta go around though. <laughs> Definitely newer interior. This is pretty fun. The owner, owner just said I can open the door. Can I open the door, get in, turn the key and drive away? <laughs> Probably not. That's awesome. I also love the way that old doors sound when they close. Is that weird? Hey, look at that. Look how good these cars look in front of an old building like this. With the white walls on this one. I love that. Where do you even get a good white wall nowadays? Are they easy to find? Is somebody making them? I don't even know. I love a good pinstripe too. Chevelle here, 396 turbo jet. 66. There's a uh, 61 Studebaker Hawk. Show us what's inside here. That's all stock. Is it? It's all stock. 289. Saying they all made 468 of these with the GT package, you said. That's incredible. Pretty rare car. Pretty cool. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It's appreciated pretty good over the years, I bet. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> pretty awesome. Only one of 468 with the GT package. You too. Hawk. Good morning. It's awesome. 
a four speed. That's pretty cool. This is probably one of the nicest Studebaker Hawks I've ever seen. Yeah, got quite the show to cruise through now. The whole, whole, this whole section's filled up. All right. Here's a uh, 1938 Chevy. Came down to the other end of the car show real quick. Just to watch a few more of the cars come in. Thought it'd be fun to hear them underneath this bridge too. Camaro right there, Revan. Another Starliner. Two Starliners in one day. How about that? <laughs> That's crazy though. I never see Starliners and then I see two in one day. The time is now 10.03, so the car show has officially begun at this point. In case you didn't know. Starliner here. Oh really? Yeah. I don't know where they got cars. I don't know if they got parked cars or what's going on. Yes, I do. This one's got newer interior. Look at that. This one here actually has the Ford logo on it. This is a 61. I'm not. I can't. I don't know if the other one was a 60 or 61. I'd have to go back and look at it again. I forgot to. Figure that out. Look at this, this is pretty cool. 37 Chevy. Racer. <laughs> Man, this is turning out to be a great show so far. Looks like it says a 64 stinger right here. Always fun to see these too. Man. Got the four speed. Here's 
here's a 73 Mustang. under the bridge pulling in right here <laughs> back to this Mustang here oh he's dropping it down <laughs> that's a nice Impala man There's a pocket door. They, they can't come in. through. Yeah. Yes. There's a nice Nova. There's a uh, 63. Here's something pretty cool. 71 Oldsmobile Cutlass. All original. Step back in time. Look at the interior. Look at that. <laughs> Man. Well, I don't think the steering wheel cover is original, but other than that. Buick Skylark here. There's a 31 Dodge sedan. It's got like green, black, and copper. I love it. Thing's awesome. It's a nice Plymouth duster here. This is a uh, 72. 72 duster 408. Here's a Opal GT. Kind of unique, just don't see these very often. You want a picture with the headlights popped up? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Pop up the. Yeah, whatever you want to do. It's great. I think it's gonna... There they go. <laughs> That's awesome. So is that just like a spring-loaded lever you pulled there for the headlights? It's like a lever. Yeah? Yeah, it's just a mechanical lever. Okay. I was going to say, you didn't even have to, you know, turn the car on or nothing to get them out. That's, that's unique. And to get them, then to get them back turned around, is it the same thing or? Yeah, same thing. Okay. Just pull a lever. Pull a lever. And they sort of go. There they go. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> what year is it? It's a 71. 71. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of fun watching those headlights do that. The mechanics of that. He says it's just a driver. He doesn't really. But that makes it kind of fun though too. It's got a golf ball in there for the shifter. <laughs> Love it. Got a nice Cadillac Eldorado here with a little drop down cozy coupe in front of it. A little cozy coupe hot rod. <laughs> I love it. Look at that cozy coupe. 
It's even got a nos. Look at that. It's got a nos in it. This thing probably flies. Here's a 41 Ford. Ford Racing. Cool car. A 69 Plymouth GTX. Engines are so massive in these. Somebody definitely got the message out to the uh, the T-Bird Club, the, lo <laughs> the local T-Bird Club. One, two, three, four, five T-Birds, all brand new. Well, the newer models, anyway. How about that? Here's a uh, 34 Chevy Master Sports Coupe. Good grief, look at the stoplight they put on the back of this thing. <laughs> look at that. That's awesome. It's like, please stop. Cool car, man. Look at the back window. Comes down there. Yeah, this is cool, man. Look at the seats that I got in there. They got like old... <laughs> it's all wood and the floors and everything. All right, this is a pretty cool car here. This is pretty fun. <laughs> I like it. You're fine, yeah. It's a fun car for sure, man. I love it. Look at these hubcaps. This has got to be like... An old barn find or something. <laughs> this is pretty, oops, excuse me, you're fine. This is pretty awesome. Some cars they just it's almost like they stepped right out of the past and they're like, hey, how's it going? What year is this? <laughs> Here's a uh, 57 Pontiac Safari wagon. Pretty cool, I don't see these very often. It's really cool. Here's that uh, 53 Bel Air. I think we saw, I think I filmed this earlier. I certainly remember it coming in. Good looking car. Here's a uh, 73 Ford Torino Sport. Oh, 
six. This is a 65 Mustang Coupe, 289. Kind of fun to see, first generation car. Man, look at this. Looks all original. There you go, a little something written there. Cool to see. A true survivor. Very cool, very cool. This is pretty cool here, speaking of survivors. Here's a uh, Chevy Chevelle, it's a 67, I think. Uh, it's got the original 250 straight six in it with only, according to the sign they put up here, 28,000 miles. Pretty cool, four door. It's cool to see, you know, the, the go fast cars, I call them. But uh, it's also fun to see the, the go slow cars like this, the family cars, the four doors, the original engines in them. This was just like a family car probably, you know. I love it. I don't know who, but that's gonna take somebody back to their childhood right there. Looking at something like this. That is something else. Love it. Man, this is a great show. This is a good show, man. I think this is only the second year they've had this show, too. So it's pretty awesome. Look at this Crown Victoria. Can you read that? Am I close enough? There you go. Something smells really good all of a sudden. Just fired up that charger again over here. <laughs> Somebody says, I don't think that's stock. He's joking, of course, but that was, that was a good one. Look at that. All right. Look at that. Everything's all painted the same. I might have seen this one at back to the 50s. The owner I was talking to he said he just he had it there. I remember seeing some of these. I remember filming some of them too, but it's hard to tell which one <laughs> without going back and looking at them. But uh, yeah, I was telling him my dad had one of these when he was like in high school, I think, just out of high school or in high school. So I have a special place in my heart for these uh, Ford Victorias as well. Good looking uh, Ford Econoline van. 
van pickup. I don't know. I guess I don't even know if they refer to these as vans or if they're just called pickups. Econo line. I don't know. Always wonder what it. Oh gosh, look at this. This is incredible. Always wonder what it uh, sounds like as you're driving down the road in one of these with the engine like right there. Like how good is the uh, soundproofing and looks like it's pretty good in this one. But they've done some work on it. Look at the sticker here. <laughs> Old farts racing team. <laughs> if someone refers to themselves as an old fart, it's pretty much says that they uh, they're they're a good person. <laughs> Anyone I've known that's referred to themselves as an old fart has been a pretty funny old guy. Yeah. That's pretty fun. Back to this uh, charger here. It's RT that yeah, drove yeah. in. Anybody on that road wants to place the park or trailer and stuff and put up a small cold start fire. I didn't do nothing in Rodney. 572 on it. I have one. It's a little girl for a sewing thing. Mine doesn't have the front side. 69 Charger. 572. Good grief. It's a uh, 26 Model T, Ford Model T. This old rat think here at it again. This thing is pretty. This thing, this thing is just the longer I look at this, the more I like it. I 
this old Buick here. How are you? A little Chevy wagon here. What? Did you know I was here because you seen the Jeep? <laughs> How are you guys? Old Chevy wagon. See if we can take a look. Oh, look at this. Nice. I love it. We got the old suitcases back there and everything. Look at that. Going on a road trip back in the day. Rack. Heck yeah. Ready to head to the lake. Here's a uh, 53 Pontiac Chieftain. So nice. I'm always impressed by these chieftains when I see them. Pretty cool cars. The 72 Ford F100. Kind of cool. The sign there that he's put out says original unrestored condition. 51,000 original miles. Here's another Triumph. This is a uh, 1960 Triumph. See what the Chevy's got in here. It's very sparkly. Got some silver flake on the top. Is that flake or is that like glitter? It looks like glitter. That's crazy. Very, very sparkly. Here's a uh, 67 VW. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I like the interior work. Well, and that's... 
Seemed pretty nice and two year there. Here comes the choo choo. Here comes a choo choo. <laughs> Good looking Kuda here. Yeah, here we go. A little Red Express truck. I haven't seen too many of these this year. I saw quite a few last year. This is the first one I've seen this summer, though. Roadrunner here. It's a seventy-three. Yeah, tracks. Let's see what he's got in there. There you go. <laughs> Here's where the uh, blue car is parked, apparently. Blue Mustang, a blue Buick, blue Oldsmobile, and a blue Nova. Here's a 55 Crown Victoria, pink and black. Looks pretty sharp, actually. I like it. Here's that uh, 61 Impala we saw come in earlier. Nice Ford Deluxe here. Looks like they've uh, run out of space on the main street there that they had and they had to Overflow parking over here for some cars, so take a walk down here. This old Ford truck here. Look at the hood on this thing. Right next to an old Ford. That's all here. There's a nice Oldsmobile holiday. Holiday 98. It's a uh, 55. It's a good looking 48 Chevy.
51 Ford Victoria. Nice Oldsmobile 442 convertible there, next to another nice Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile Cutlass 442 convertible. Fifty-five Oldsmobile Rocket. All right, hold up a sec. It's another Starliner. That's three Starliners in one small town show. What's going on here? <laughs> Something's going on. This one's for sale too, or uh, maybe maybe it's just the camper. Camper's for sale for eight. Yeah, no, that's just the camper. There's no way. <laughs> Look at this. I think the, I don't know, I'm not positive, but I think all the ones I've seen today have been 61. He's got a Chris Craft sign on. He must tow a Chris Craft behind it, which is an old boat. I don't know. This is cool though. Just never see these Starliners, and all of a sudden, here's three in one day. Well, it's been been a fun day, man. <laughs> It's been a fun show. They uh, hope they keep doing this show because it's a good one. Fun location, fun spot. Seems like it was well organized. They might need to open up another street though for it. Starting to uh, get some overflow parking here. So, well, that almost wraps it up here. We got a few more under the bridge here. I'll take a look at for sure before we go. We'll be out of here. We'll be a done deal. <laughs> Nice 56 over here on the other side of the bridge. But they got a nice 57 under the bridge over here. Looks like he's towing something here. <laughs> That's cool, I haven't seen that before. <laughs> Wonder if they actually took you know, a couple of tail fins from a 57 for the back of that. That's awesome. <laughs> Here's a little uh, 55 Metropolitan. Cute little girl here. Man, a lot of people showed up at this show. They're all the way down there, cruising around here. And actually, I didn't even know it, but after you go through the bridge, there's a whole other line of cars here.
years old, my dad. He did it. That's just about the size of my car because I have a red Got a real nice line of trucks here. A couple of GMCs. Really nice. Let's see if I can cruise past them here. A couple of nice Dodges here. That's cool. And then an old Chevy here. There's a nice Pontiac right here. It's a uh, 66 Catalina. It's a really nice 57 here too. Gorgeous. Lena's pretty awesome though. I think this is a, a 64 Buick Wildcat. It's pretty cool. I haven't seen too many of these, if, if any, I don't think. At least not this summer. Here's a uh, 79 Chevy Camaro Z28. Painted uh, kind of like a the Trans Am from Bandit, but this is the Camaro, of course, not the Trans Am. Um, this is nice, though. I love this interior. Black with the tan interior. Gosh, it looks really nice. Yeah, that's cool, man. I like it. All right, we have reached the end of the show here. There's a nice charger and a nice roadrunner down here. Take a look at these, and I think that might be the, uh, the end of the show for us here today. Gosh, this is a nice roadrunner. Charger. It's kind of interesting. Like here's the Roadrunner painted orange. The Charger not painted orange. Man. The four speed. Alrighty guys, well I think that's about going to wrap it up. Fun show. 
Good show. Alrighty, gang. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. I am too pooped to pot. It's getting hot out, so I'm going to go get some uh, sustenance and some liquids in me. I appreciate you guys watching. Do give this episode that thumbs up for me. That helps uh, people, other people find it. If, if you enjoyed it, give it that thumbs up. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you watching. As always, I'm going to travel on down the road, gang. All right. I'll check you later. Okay, bye. Sounds so good.